Okay, back with the six axis hexacopter from goodluckbuy.com. So this is a carbon fiber frame. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous video, I've done a, a video of just the frame of it all put together and my impressions of it. Uh, so far, it seems pretty good. Um, not too sure about these standoffs. These are made out of, uh, I don't know, some type of white metal or brass. I don't think they'd be very good in a crash because what seems like would end up happening is it would break the carbon fiber before it would break the actual, um, this standoff. So I might switch them out with nylon. Um, using the ZMR, um, what are they? Well, these are RCX, but they're actually ZMR as well. Um, the ZMR1804 2400KV brushless motor, um, five by three gem fans, and the 12 amp pre-flashed uh, Emacs ESCs. Uh, again, I purchased most of these parts either on banggood.com or goodluckbuy.com. Um, the frame itself, I mentioned in the previous video, is about 170 grams uh, with nothing on it. Um, let me see, I haven't weighed it yet. I guess I should give it an all up weight, but uh, I don't have the FPV and the transmitter mounted yet. So I'll do a separate video with that stuff all mounted. So I just wanted to give a, a preview of this. I'm gonna take it out on the deck and give it a flight. Um, and then I'll do a more, a better flight uh, once, uh, once I make it to the park or somewhere with a little more room. The bottom plate, the clean plate is where you can mount the GoPro. It has a little spot here for the strap. Overall, it went together really well. Um, I used, I don't know if you can see, but I'm filming this with my GoPro 3, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to, if I have this lined up, but this is a power distribution board that I got from Hobby King. Made the assembly or the wiring uh, really simple with that. Um, just certainly saved and made cable management a lot easier. I'm running a Delta 8 FreeSky receiver. Um, and a KK2 board, uh, if you can see in there. So um, I'm gonna take it out for a quick flight, just show you uh, that it flies, and uh, I'll do a better video once I get maybe the FPV gear on or if I make it up to the park. So um, I don't think there's anything else I really need to mention. Um, I guess that should be it. Oh, and I'm running um, a 2200 milliamp uh, Turnigy battery on it. I think that's everything. All right, I'm gonna take it out and give it a quick test flight and see how it flies. So this will be the Maiden. Okay, we're out on the deck. I'm gonna plug it in. I also weighed it on the scale. Um, I took two measurements. One without the battery and it came in at 414 grams. Um, with the battery it was 588 grams so this is remember before fpv gear before the camera and the transmitter um, with those i suspect maybe add an extra 40 grams and no gopro 3 on it or any type of camera so next um, let's just uh, fire it up and take it for flight Okay, I can tell immediately it's got way more punch than the quad. If you haven't seen my review of the um, quadcopter frame from uh, Good Luck Buy, um, I'll put a link in the description below or you can search for it on my channel. Uh, one thing I noticed when I punched it is that it took off and it went forward and I think it has to do with this configuration because it's kind of like a dead cat type of configuration. 
I don't know, or maybe where I mounted the flight controller, but I know in the KK2 I can do a custom mix. So what I might do is I might bring that back a little bit so that when I punch it, it doesn't go forward, but I'll have to do a little bit of messing around to do that. So that's just an, an aside. Um, but so far, it seems like it's got lots of punch, flies okay. Um, I'm happy with it so far, but we'll see what happens when we take it out to the field for some uh, more in-depth uh, testing and flying. But so far, um, you know, the frame was, I think, about 90 bucks, maybe between 80 and 90. I don't remember off the top of my head. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good knockoff, I guess, of a, of a true blackout. Um, carbon fiber, as I mentioned pre in my previous video, the machining seems nice. Everything fit and went together. These holes all lined up for the motors. Uh, on the fiberglass quad, I had problems with that, and it didn't, they didn't line up. I had to ream them out. So I have to say the build quality on, on this one, at least, I lucked out. It, uh, it seems to be much better. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, um, like it, and uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll have more videos of uh, all kinds of stuff on it. All right, thanks for watching.